So I'm, uh, I'm thrilled at the moment. I'm out in the woods, having come very specifically looking for this, which I've never found before, and have found bucket loads of it. So I thought I would, oh, that's come out half, half uh, broken. So I'm gonna I actually have a ton. Um, so I'm gonna choose a beautiful one to show you, a little one. Um, and this is Horn of Plenty, uh, Craterellus cornucopioides, uh, is its proper name, ish. Um, and this is something that I've been looking for for a while. Um, it doesn't actually grow near me. It doesn't seem to like the soil. Um, I live on kind of acid heathland. Um, all around me is, is quite acid clay soil. Um, and so I have come down to a, a secret location uh, on the South Downs, which was kindly suggested to me by a wonderful friend uh, whose name is Melissa, um, who teaches truffle hounds. Um, and if you're interested in truffles and things, she is Truffle and Mushroom Hunter online. And I think she's still doing Zoom courses, or was last time I spoke to her, um, to train your dog to find truffles. Um, but she doesn't live in the UK anymore, so she very kindly suggested a spot that I might look in. And I've hit the jackpot today. Um, I don't think that you would ever confuse these with anything else because they're so distinctive, but I wanted to show you just so you knew what to look for and that they exist. Um, as you can see, when you find them, they really do do a good job of blending in. They're quite um, <coughs> quite well hidden. Um, but once you've seen them, I think they're nice and easy to identify. So, uh, Craterellus, like our, our trumpet chanterelle that we found, they are more cratery even than that, so they are essentially a tube, which is darker inside, uh, sometimes black, sometimes browner, greyer, but darker inside than it is outside, which is very much grey. Um, and without any sort of gills, really, the barest, barest wrinkles, if you can see on the hymenium there, but really almost smooth. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else you need to know, but realistically... Or other than that they're quite difficult to spot. I think you're just going to be able to, to find these. They have a tendency to roll over. This is a nice example. To roll over at the top. So they're like a, a trumpet. They've got this, oh goodness, focus on this camera. You've got this wonderful kind of hollow inside hole. And then the top just rolls over and has this wonderful frilly edge. Um, but they really often are just in the leaf litter and looking quite like just a hole between leaves. Um, I think that that's enough information because you really can't mix them up very easily with anything else. Um, if you are enjoying the, the content and you think it's valuable and worthwhile, do feel free to buy me a coffee. My link is in the description and the comments. Um, if you are in Sussex and want to come on a course, you can get hold of me uh, through Ashdown Forage on Facebook. Uh, my website died a death while I was having a, a sabbatical after I had a baby. Um, but this winter, the plan is to get it back up and running, um, in which case I will be ashdownforage.co.uk again. Um, and yeah, enjoy your foraging. Do press like and subscribe. I really love it when you do that. Um, and uh, get back out there. It's, it's late in the season, but some things really like late in the season. Enjoy.